Professor Poon, uh, can you please summarize for us the, the symptoms of preeclampsia? How does a woman recognize that she may be developing preeclampsia? So thank you. Um, symptoms of preeclampsia include headache, uh, visual disturbances, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, um, vaginal bleeding, uh, reduced fetal movements, some swelling in the feet, hands, and even the face, and frothy urine. But then most importantly, patients with preeclampsia can be entirely asymptomatic. Hence, there's the importance of assessment of blood pressure and proteinuria during antenatal visits. It is commonly said that preeclampsia is a disease of pregnancy, and a woman is cured of this condition by removing from her the placenta. So ultimately, delivery would be the cure of preeclampsia. But when can we apply this approach to the prevention of preeclampsia? So as you have said, we believe that the delivery of the placenta is the only cure for preeclampsia. So there's a need to deliver the baby at the same time. But whether we need to do the delivery following the diagnosis of preeclampsia depends on several factors, including the severity of the disorder, uh, whether there's associated fetal growth restriction with abnormal Dopplers and the gestational age at diagnosis. So if the patient is um, diagnosed in early gestation, for example, 28 weeks, then there is a desire to prolong her pregnancy to improve lung maturation of the baby, provided that the maternal condition allows. And if the patient is diagnosed with preeclampsia at term, then um, the aim is to prevent progression of the disorder and eclampsia. Hence, we tend to advise delivery. So I think timing of delivery has to be individualized for each patient, and we can't apply one rule for all. Thank you. And, and first of all, I think we also need to mention that contrary to ge the general idea that once the placenta is out, then you're cured of preeclampsia, uh, quite a few women may well develop preeclampsia after delivery. And because we, we, we are caught out uh, and not recognizing that, actually that type of preeclampsia may be more severe. Do you want to co comment on this? Indeed, following the delivery of the pregnancy, um, the risk of progression of preeclampsia and the risk of eclampsia persist. So I would say that um, the woman is not out of the woods and, uh, uh, and indeed we must uh, monitor closely for hypertension and treat proactively with antihypertensive and watch out for impending eclampsia.